Hi guys, it's me, Miss Kitty D. It's good to see you again. Sorry it took a little while for me to film my second video and part two of our uh, fake teeth review. <clears throat> I'm new to this, so kind of give me some slack. All right, so in the first video, we were reviewing the Snap-on Smile fake teeth. Um, where you purchase it online for $15 and they send you the little kit and inside here you get four pieces two pieces of wax and two pieces of plastic that look like teeth right and everybody assumes that the two pieces of wax are like glue to hold the two pieces of teeth to your mouth so everybody gets pissed off and throws it away when the reality is that the two pieces of plastic that look like teeth are actually molds, okay? And the two pieces of wax are going to be your new fake teeth, okay? So, but there are some confusing things and I don't have a high budget so this is not going to be like the best, best video to help you see the end result. But, okay, so overall review, is it worth 15 bucks? It depends. Are you going to get it right the first time? If you get it right the first time, yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, it's worth 15 bucks. If you get it wrong, it's not going to be 15 bucks. You're going to have to keep doing it over and over and over and over. So it's going to be worth 30 bucks or 45 bucks. If you're paying more than that, I don't know that it's worth it. All right, but let's get back to it. So what you do is you take the pieces out of here, put them in a microwavable bowl with some water. Um, I just use like a, you know, unbrand bowl, like a, you know, cardboard bowl, whatever. And I put, these are the pieces that are left, by the way. I don't know if you can see. I put like a little water in the bowl. Um, enough just to kind of cover it, not much more than that. You don't want to go overboard because you're going to have to reach down in there. Um, another thing I learned on my first time is I tried to separate the wax pieces from the teeth. So, okay, for example, <clears throat> here's one of my teeth that are left over, the teeth mold thing, right? And the wax that went to it is this so it's crap I ruined it so like you can see it kind of sort of looks like tea ah. but anyway I would definitely keep it keep the wax piece it won't look like that when you get it when you get it this looks like just like a little tube like a it's still the same shape like a smiley face but it's just a smooth little you put it in the matching uh, teeth mold. It is important to put it in the matching one. I found that out the hard way because I separated all four pieces, right? I put it in the microwave for a minute. That was way too long. I stopped it at 40 seconds to check on it, realized what I had done was I had melted the teeth, the actual wax teeth part to my bowl. Oh joy. And uh, my teeth mold were starting to bend and stuff which I guess it's kind of good but not when you're trying to pick it up and put this in. Anyways, this part became so ooey gooey it was just stringy and floppy and it wasn't holding any shape. It became liquid goo like I mean like literally glue out of a glue tube. Not what you want. The texture that you want to get this to is the point where it is still, you still want it to be solid, just pliable enough to mold it, right? So not liquid, maybe almost liquid, almost that point. But again, that helps to have it, like I said, in here. So do not separate these pieces when you put it in the water, right? So bowl, water to cover. Have your wax in the matching mold because one is larger than the other. Now that's another confusing point, okay? I would appreciate 
If the daggone snap on smile came with instructions, that would be helpful, first of all. Would it not, amen? Um, if they explained which one goes to which part of your mouth, I know some of you might think like that's obvious. If it's obvious, comment below and tell me, because I don't know, it doesn't seem obvious to me. I mean, is this my top teeth or is this my bottom teeth? Like, okay. Taking out the wax, right? Some people's mouths are different than others. That's why these are supposed to be customized. That could be some people, right? And that could be some people. So which one's top and which one's bottom? That is the question. Which one's top? Which one's bottom? It's not like I can do a test and check their energy, like vibe check. Do you have top or bottom energy, huh? Top or bottom energy? Give me a little dance. Give me a little face action here. Top or bottom energy? What? Are you switch it or what? Anyway, yeah, so you get the point. Anyway, so it's frustrating. The whole process is frustrating. It's trial and error, right? Okay. Hopefully, me telling you all this stuff is going to help you to kind of work off of what I learned which I learned from other people who learned from other people and so forth and so on and eventually one of us is going to get it so good that you know, they're going to make the ultimate video or I don't know or we're all collectively just going to rally against snap on smile and just throw these in the garbage and say screw it let's all just get dentures I, I don't know I don't know man I know I need dentures because mm, one thing I do want to point out as a safety warning and this is not from the company. I do not speak for the company. I'm not a rep of the company. As I explained to you in video one, why I even need these fake teeth or one of these fake teeth is because I had a car accident that caused my teeth to come out. And then the other teeth that didn't come completely out were busted up and they um, did work on them, like added fake teeth parts to it. It was a really bad company. I'm not going to name names, okay? But they like added, oh, what do I want to say? Some kind of, not cement, clearly. Uh, I don't know, like maybe it's porcelain. I don't know what they added to my teeth. But when they put it on, whatever they did to solidify it on the nubs that I had left, they burned. They left burn marks on my teeth. And the spots where you can see the fake attached to the real, it's starting to crumble. And then there are spots that like have like a layer of that stuff just kind of spackled on. When I did this stuff and you have to put, I haven't got to this part yet, but spoiler alert, you put the mold on your teeth and you bite in and suck. And anyway, when I did that, pieces of my spackling fake teeth got stuck in the wax and came off. So now I got this great, beautiful hole in my tooth, thanks to this stuff. No, I'm not going to sue. No, it's nothing crappy like that. It's just, uh, what are you going to do? But I am warning you, if you have crappy teeth going into this situation, be aware you're going to put like warm wax on that's going to tighten onto your teeth. And if you have a situation where you think something might rock your teeth, bro, it's going to. And just be careful. I think it should have been mentioned because who else is going to ask for these things except for people with bad teeth? Am I wrong? Just saying. Just saying. Is it that hard to understand? Like, uh, Anyways, okay. Sorry, just common sense is the thing. Or at least it used to be. Sing along with me. No, okay, that's fine. I'm my own company. So, snap on smile. Back to what we were saying. I'm the Queen of England now. I just said back to what we were saying. Let's uh, pretend we didn't say that. <laughs> oh, I'm bad at this. Okay. So once you have got your um, your wax really hot and your uh, molds and all that out of the water carefully, please don't burn yourself. And if you do, that's not on me. Against common sense, people. 
I take no liability for you burning yourself, hurting yourself, whatever. It's not on me. Coffee is hot. Looking at the sun will blind you. If you boil these and stick your hand in here and take them out and you get burnt, that's on you. <laughs> Wait a few minutes. It's not going to make it like tighten up so much that you can't use these like... Be careful. Don't burn yourself. If you do, don't bother me about it. That's on you. That's on you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, once you got it, what you're going to do is... And I'm trying to remember which one went on which... Which one I decided to do for which. Ah! You're going to put them in your mouth. Okay while they're still hot but not too hot, you know, like something you can handle. And with the wax and all, you're going to put them in your mouth. Oh, man. Okay. And... I don't want to do it with the whole thing and everything. I don't want to mess up my lipstick. So just pretend I put them in my mouth <laughs> right now. Just pretend I'm doing it. But you put them in your mouth and you push it against your teeth and you do both at the same time. Yes, both top and bottom at the same time and you bite down into it like this. It's going to be really uncomfortable. Bite down and suck. It's really gross. I know. It's really effing gross. And honestly, I think that I... I'm going to do this one for the bottom and this one for the top. I cannot recall which one was which. They're so gross, I promise you. And these came out really bad, obviously. They don't even look like teeth. I think this one's the top. Yeah, and this one's the bottom. This one's the bottom. So, um, okay. But you just bite down with the whole thing, you know, just suck. Do that for as long as you can stand. Um, hopefully, if you've done this right, you've not messed up the wax or anything. The idea is that the wax has melted perfectly all the way around through here the wax should have melted just completely cleanly and neatly through here that when you're biting down and sucking that it's causing it to go up around your teeth you know because biting that does one thing but you've got to suction it because you really want a tight tight fit remember it's a snap on it's not just a fit your teeth you know and sticks to your teeth it's going to snap it really will snap too because I at least got that part to work even if it didn't like look good um, and you want it to kind of go up around your teeth because you want it to touch your gums. You want it to look natural teeth. Problem is, I had no idea what I was doing the first time. Like I said, I let the wax sit outside of the uh, molds. And because I did that, when I put the wax in, it would like gel up in one area, not the other. And I got such terrible results. And so when I tried to redo it, and this is a warning here too, if you try to redo it, you're going to get crap results. So, again, this is something where get it right the first time, okay? So you bite, you suck, and do this whole thing. When you're done, uh, give it a few minutes to cool or whatever, however long you think. Uh, a couple problems with that, too. These nice little holes here on the bottom, not sure what they're for entirely, but uh, my stuff got pretty bad stuck in it. Uh, I'm missing a lot of teeth, and so... I mean, I had to all but break these molds, really, to get, you know, my teeth out of there. It was pretty crazy. So, but I think that's okay because the intent is that you're not going to use them again, right? I think it's like a one-time deal. You've made these teeth and that's it. Pretty sure that's how it goes. Um, I could be wrong. I mean, I wonder if you can buy refill wax for this. That would be a thing. That would be... That's something I'm going to have to look into. Refill wax would really, really help this product, like, tremendously. Like, especially if it was, like, super cheap, you know? Although that's kind of, like, the whole point of what this is. But once you already have the mold, like, what else do you need besides the wax? I don't know. Okay. So, in the end, um, like I said, I think these were my top teeth. So these are my bottom teeth. I'm not even going to put on a few. They're terrible. The top teeth are terrible too. Obviously they don't cover my teeth, but just to show you how they actually do snap, I'm just gonna... <laughs> remember, I'm not showing this to show you if they actually look like teeth, but just to show you that if you get it right, if you can get them to look like teeth, awesome. Mine like slightly in certain places kinda 
look like teeth. If you can get them to look like teeth, great. They will snap into place. They are made to snap into place. And that, that part does work, so. So yeah, they actually do, and I have lipstick all over my thumbs now. <laughs> Super duper. Um, yeah, they do snap into place, and I feel like each time I put these in, I've been so let down and so disappointed because they stick really good in place. Like, I could probably chew food in these, I could probably... I mean, like, I don't know. One thing I have trouble doing is talking in these. But then again, they're not shaped properly like my teeth. You know what I mean? So, meh. But, I mean, they, they, they stick. Not in a weird, like, you know, fig vampire teeth for Halloween way. They really, I don't know, explain it. They snap onto your teeth. They hold tight to your teeth. I don't know how to explain it. It's, yeah, it's a miracle. If they would just look like F and teeth, we'd be in business, man. So that's that. I don't have 15 bucks to do it again to show you. Sorry, I'd love to. Look, I'd love to have a pair because <laughs> that's my mug until I get to a dentist. And with COVID-19, when's that going to happen? And you guys know, I already told you in video one, my high anxiety is so intense. Like, mm, I'm a bad patient. I'm a bad patient when it comes to the dentist. But I've had so much that's happened to me. I mean, woo, let's not get into it. One step at a time. Mm. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I guess uh, let's just review here, okay? Snap on smile. You see it everywhere. I play my little game, Monster Legends, hint, hint, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. If you don't play it, download it. It's the bomb.com. No, I'm not affiliated. Just uh, showing some love for my fave game. Not saying I'm on a guild in there. Not saying you shouldn't join <coughs> Monster Hunters. Um, just saying they have ads in there all the time because you watch videos and the videos come up and there's ads. That's how I found this. It was like I was playing. There was an ad for this. Love it. You know. So I saw an ad for this. You see ads for it on TikTok. You see ads for it heck here on YouTube, right? There's ads for Snap on Smile and then other brands too. What are the other ones? I, I don't remember. There's like a whole bunch of these things all over the internet right now. Just tons of these things. People are buying. I mean, they're crazy. Like I literally thought I'd done a fake um, advertisement for it myself because it's so freaking hilarious the difference between you know, the ad and what you really get and what it's really like. It's just, <laughs> it's so stupid. Uh, but, um, 15 bucks, right? 14.95, whatever. And you get this and nothing else. No instructions, nothing. Just this, which looks like either a compact or one of those mysterious, uh, bill or bill oh my gosh pill what was i trying to say birth control pill blah, 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 blah. can't talk much today wow birth control pill holders from the 90s speak much <laughs> yeah those ones they used to have that had like the designs on it like it fooled anybody you know snap on smile Secretly, birth control pills. <laughs> That's really something to smile about. Um, it comes with this. It comes with two pieces of wax and two pieces of plastic with like teeth. You're going to get yourself a nice microwavable bowl. You're going to put all four pieces in the water. Specifically, you're going to put the pieces of plastic with like teeth with their open parts up and you're going to put the wax that matches it inside it appropriately so all wax is you know inside there so it can uh, mellow out perfectly you know any problems first time you do not want to mess this up 
and you're going to put it in there and you're going to put water over it just to cover and you're going to put the bad boy in the microwave for 40 seconds or less. Check on that stuff. Like I say after 20 seconds even, check on it. Then you're going to not be an idiot and not you're burn yourself because if you're going to burn yourself, I just don't even watch my videos anymore. Come on, man. Like common sense is a thing, right? Miss Kitty D says it. Common sense is a thing. And we're all going to agree and sing along. Common sense is a thing. We are the common sense gang. Okay, okay, cool. So, anyways, and then we're going to take our wonderful stuff out of the microwave and we're going to touch it when it's safe to do. And then when we do that, we are going to let cool just a little bit more. And then when it's safe to put in our mouths and we're not going to give ourselves, you know, uh, roof of our mouth burns either. Like we do when pizza is so delicious, we have to eat it right now and we burn the roof of our mouth. You know, we're not going to do that. When it's safe to put in our mouth, we're going to put it in our mouth. We're going to bite. And so, with both pieces in their mouth, both pieces, because all four pieces are together, and they bite, it's like, right? And by now we've obviously figured out which one was which, for our mouth, which one's better at. I'm sure that's so sexy. <laughs> We're going to do that until we feel comfortable that we have gotten the wax to cover our teeth, and get lipstick everywhere. And then we are going to take it out of our mouths, set it down, let it cool. And then we're going to take the wax out of the mold. And ta-da! Hopefully I have perfect teeth. Also, as far as the color of the teeth, they'll be clear at first. As they dry and cool down, they'll turn that nice white color. Because mine were clear for about eh, two minutes. I say a good two minutes after I made them, and I was like, yeah, that's another thing I'm not going to deal with is having clear teeth. That's bull crap. But they turn this lovely white color afterwards. Um, I've redone these twice, and the more you redo them, the worse it becomes. So um, do not lose any of the wax. Do not redo these if at all possible. Okay? Also, if you would be so kind as to share your results with me, I would gladly appreciate that. Um, you know, help me help you. And if there's anything else you'd like me to talk about in the next video, also comment below. Let me know. So we're moving on to video three now. Uh, I really would prefer it not to be about Snap and Smile again. You know, teeth are cool and all, and it is one facet of beauty. There are a billion other things in beauty we've got to talk about. All right, there's so much we have to talk about. I'm talking nutrition, hair, skin, all of it, you know, forming a routine, just everything. We have so much to talk about, beauty babies, so many things, okay? So let's get on with it. Also, um, I wanted to let you know, too, moving forward with the channel, I really am hoping that everybody's in it for the long haul. Like I said, I'm sorry it took me so long to post my second video. I'm going to try harder to post at least once a week and eventually get to where I'm posting like maybe every other day, just depending on, you know, how much time I have and, you know, dealing with health issues and stuff. So, but we are all beautiful in God's eyes. We're all beautiful creations and I want to help everybody out there to feel as beautiful as they can because I love you all and God loves you too. So. I love you beautiful babies and I hope you all have a great night and I hope this was a helpful video about the snap on smile and any other fake tail that you're struggling with. Um, remember it's not a permanent fix. If you've got problems with your teeth, you gotta head to the dentist eventually. Totally talk to myself there too. Yeah. Alright. So Gratuitous booty shot like always. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, I'm teasing. And this kitty D out. Bye.